So before I get into this, I just want to tell people, those who are on Android 12 Beta L, in order for you guys to get Beta 13, you would need to go into the uh, site itself, g.co slash Android Beta, and you would have to opt out of Beta and completely wipe your phone going back to Android 12, then going back to the website again and opting back in but choosing Android 13 Beta as you guys just seen in this quick little video. So just a disclaimer for those who want to get Android 13 Beta but you're already in the Beta program with Android 12 L. And now let's get into the installation. So as you guys can see basically I am getting everything set up here. Um, you can see that it's going to install. It's 1.94 gigabytes in size. So it's a very sizable uh, installation. So this is going to take some time. Lucky for y'all, with the power of editing, we just breeze through that really quickly. So let's reboot the device. Let's see what we get here. So I'm going to kind of also, again, jump it and get right into it. And so now we are booted up. Let's go ahead and look around and see if we see any like upfront visual changes, which I doubt it. It's still based off Material UUI. So it's still going to have a lot of aesthetics that Android 12 L has. But I mean, we're going to see if there's any like noticeable differences, not only in just the user interface and how it looks, but um, how the phone is behaving as well. And um, yeah, so we'll let it continue to finish the system update. Then we'll just kind of browse around and see what we get out of it, see what's happening. Um, I can tell you guys right off the jump, there's not much of a difference. So if you're looking at it to be like a completely different user interface, um, you're going to be you're going to be disappointed. It's not. Um, of course, I'd like to play around with it for at least a few days so I can point out some noticeable changes between 12 and 13. Things that, you know, may interest people. But one thing I can tell you guys right now is the fluidity of it seems pretty smooth. And remember, the 5A only has a 60 hertz refresh rate. It doesn't have 90 hertz. It doesn't have 120 hertz. Just 60. So, but it feels smooth. One thing I'm noticing is that I don't see the build number on the notification dropdown. Usually, it's down there at the bottom, but I don't see it at all. So, I'm just curious as to why. Anyhow, let's go into settings. And I will show you guys that it is on Android 13. So let me uh, right there, updated to Android 13. And so we'll also go and see if we got an Easter egg, but more than likely not. We usually see the new Easter egg in Android around beta 4, beta 5. Um, so I'm expecting it to still be the Android 12 clock. So let me pull that up. And... We'll see what we get. Anyhow. Oh, one thing is when turning the wheel, you can feel the haptics really good. So that's nice. Android 12. Easter egg still there. <laughs> it's what I expected it to be. Um, I don't see any significant changes to Android messages. I mean, they're still following the material UUI where... A lot of Google eccentric apps are going to be kind of themed to the wallpaper. But that's nice. I'm going to switch it up here. Switch it to like the orange, kind of gold orange color and theme the icons, which uh, interesting enough, it didn't do that. But this is the initial first boot. So I'm expecting to have a little bit of issues. I am going to run through the phone and install as much as I can. That way um, I can reboot and then let it go through its thing. And literally just, you know, begin to bond with certain applications that I use, which is not a lot. I mean, the social network app I'm using is Twitter. That's the only one I'm using. So we'll see how well Twitter runs and functions on Android 13. Um, but, you know, here's another side note, something that just kind of annoys me with Android. But why? Why, good heavens, is it that, you know, when you go through the whole setup, you go back in, and then it wants you to do that whole setup thing again where you've already done it once. Like it wants you to do it twice. Like Android fix that. That is something that's absolutely annoying. Um, I am just looking to see what widgets is currently available. Um, I guess the widgets for the battery widget is not available just yet. So we will see if like after maybe a couple of boots. Um, 
So I remember it being down there, but I don't know, it could have moved to a different spot. But let me get my Google Fi widget here so I can see how much data I've used. I've only used 5.13 gigabytes. And I got a couple of days left, so that's because I'm also using home Wi-Fi as well. Um, and if you didn't know, the reason I'm pointing that out is because Google Fi changed their data cap for their Unlimited Plus plan. It's now 50 gigs of high-speed data before slow down for the remainder of the month. Here's something interesting. I felt haptics with the camera, and I'm wondering why. This is the reason I'm shaking it, because I'm like, what's going on here? Come to find out, the um, so how it balances your shot to make sure you have a straight shot, you feel the haptics right after you hit zero, and if you leave zero and go one degree tilted to the right or one degree tilted to the left, it actually gives you a haptic feedback to let you know. So you pretty much have an idea of when you are centered to take a really good photo. That's kind of nice. I don't remember that being in Android 12, but I'm going to test that out with the Pixel 5 versus the Pixel 5a, 12 versus 13, and see also what the differences are. But I'll come up in a future video when I do more of a review. This is just a first impressions, first look at Android 13 on the Pixel 5a. Well, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. What do you guys want to see? Put that in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. Smash the like button. And as always, talk to you on the next one. Peace.